Well, tonight, Hurricane Milton has made landfall on Florida's west coast. At 7.30 p.m. Central Time, the Category 3 storm came ashore at Siesta Key, Florida. This is just south of Sarasota and south of Tampa Bay. That means we were able to avoid really what would have been the worst case scenario for the Tampa area with all that water getting pushed into uh, Tampa Bay. Still significant surge continues south of the landfall point for Venice, Osprey, all the way down through Charlotte Harbor. So the system continues to work inland now after making landfall. The worst part of the storm is actually sitting over the Tampa Bay area, right over Tampa itself and St. Petersburg at Northern Eyewall, where we've had extreme wind warnings issued. And it's within that area where we are seeing those strong winds that are gusting over 110 miles per hour at this time, continuing to spread over uh, Hillsborough County. And also power outages, they are really starting to ramp up. Now over 160,000 customers in Pinellas County without power, now at 100,000 in Hillsborough County. And we will likely see more of these outages. In fact, we could see some long-term power outages with this storm. So max winds 120 as the storm continues to move east and northeast. It's going to basically move and parallel the I-4 corridor as it continues to move to the east, this will bring high winds to Orlando, areas near Melbourne, and some extremely heavy rain, especially north of I-4, as the system will eventually work back out into the Atlantic by early Thursday morning. Some areas will pick up within that swath there, uh, anywhere from 12 to as much as 16 inches of rain, so this will create a flash flood threat. But again, Milton now making landfall. This is the third hurricane of the season to make landfall in the Sunshine State.